Stacy and Tom met behind Darcy's back. Guys, the new season, the new show, I should say rather, called Darcy and Stacy, Darcy and Stacy's new show, the first episode premiered on the TLC Go app a few days ago. But first, I have to give a huge thank you to Patty on Instagram. She's a loyal celeb talk guy follower. She gave me the heads up. So last night I watched it and boy, it was pretty good. Now I know not everyone here is the biggest Darcy and Stacy fan, but I'm telling you guys, I think everyone should at least give this show a shot because it actually looks pretty entertaining. And in the first episode, a ton of stuff went down. But let's first talk about what went down when Stacy and Tom met face to face to talk about everything going on with Darcy. Now, I don't know if this the whole, you know, show made this thing happen or what, but for some reason, Tom felt the need to meet up with Stacy. It was kind of a mutual meetup. Stacy wanted to see him and Tom wanted to see her and they both wanted to just close that door. It was very odd, very surprising. Tom apologized and apologized and apologized for calling Darcy fat and being rude and being childish. I don't know what I think of Tom. I kind of like Tom. I also kind of think he's kind of full of himself and kind of just full of BS, so I don't really know. But they met, they talked, they hashed out some stuff with Darcy, and the worst thing was, Darcy had no idea. Now, like I said earlier, that whole meetup lunch thing could be completely scripted and fake just for the show, but Tom was on the new show. And for everything else that happened on the first episode, I think we're actually going to be in for a pretty good season. Number one, we got to hear a lot more about Stacy and Darcy's past. Like, if you guys didn't know, they were kind of major dorks. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of them. That is the word that they used. They openly admitted it. We wore glasses. We were kind of nerdier. We were shy. We didn't have, like, any friends. So the two of us really stuck together. And that was kind of surprising. I kind of imagined Darcy and Stacy being, like, Miss the popular girls and the loud girls and the party girls in high school. But according to them, that was not the case. Kind of interesting. And they also did share the pictures of them in like middle school or high school and those are the pictures that I shared earlier a few videos ago those right there and let me say it one last time holy crap they look different a lot of Botox a lot of hair dye and some other stuff you know down here and they look very different so we got to hear more on their story it was actually kind of interesting I don't know why I kind of did like it we got to meet Darcy's mom and dad the mom she seems to be a sweet shy just a nice olderish lady nothing too entertaining but just a nice lady the dad seems to kind of be a little bit more like Stacy and Darcy number one the parents are divorced. I did not know that. I don't know if you guys knew that, but their parents split up and got divorced like years and years and years ago. And the dad has been married several times since. And now he is engaged to a woman in China. But unlike Darcy and Stacy, I don't think he met this woman online because Darcy did say that her dad, he has some like business or his work is overseas in China. So he is only in America for like two to four weeks, I think every year. So obviously he's living in China and he met this woman. And really quick on the topic of her dad, I know so many of you guys have asked me, what is the deal with him? Does he have like a, a share or does he have his hand or a say, I guess, in the whole TLC 90 Day Fiance world? Because there has been a rumor circulating that their dad is like a shareholder or an investor, I guess. I don't even know what even would be the best way to describe, but somewhat of an investor in this whole 90 Day Fiance say TLC, Sharp Entertainment business, you know, stuff. And I don't think that is the case. We finally found out that the guy is very high up in a ginormously huge engineering company. He might even own it. I don't know how you can go from engineering to reality TV, but maybe the guy does have something investor or something. I don't really think that's the case, but I guess it could be possible, but they didn't even mention that at all in the first episode. And Darcy did say, my dad bought us the house for her and for Stacy. And it looks like Darcy's kids obviously live with her. I think maybe possibly full time. I don't know if, if her kid's dad is in their life at all. I'm not really sure. I know that he also is another foreigner, which is kind of funny because Darcy and Stacy, they always say we like foreign men. And ironically, Ironically enough, their first, the father to their kids, is actually both foreign men for Darcy and for Stacy. Now, Stacy, kind of interesting too, I didn't realize she has kids. Now, I personally have never, ever, ever, ever seen Stacy's kids on 90 Day Fiance. 
I don't know if they're hiding out. I don't know if they don't want to be on camera. Maybe their dad doesn't want them to be on the show. I don't really know what's going on, but Stacy did mention that she was pregnant around the same time as Darcy, so there it is. She obviously was pregnant, and she must have some kids. So it's kind of interesting learning different little things about Darcy and Stacy. I don't know why I kind of enjoy it. And then with Darcy's dad, like I said, he bought them the house, which just tells me one thing. They don't do anything because I kind of thought maybe, maybe, maybe they kind of had, you know, another job or a business or something going on. And I know they have their stupid little clothing line, whatever, which they probably sell about two or three things a month. They probably don't sell much if I had to guess, but I kind of figured maybe they have another job. Maybe they're doing something else because their house is nice and to afford that cost of living, they must be doing something. Well, no, come to find out, they admitted that their dad did buy them the house and it sounds like the dad has a very 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 good job so when they're driving around they have like a Range Rover they're driving around in all this other really nice cars I can only imagine that their dad also bought them those two so that's just a little bit about the family kind of different dynamic than I thought Darcy did also say really quick that her dad has been married several different times which that kind of just reminds me more of Darcy and Stacy how they're always kind of dating trying to meet someone new it sounds like the dad is kind of in a similar boat but but he seems to be kind of more shy, so I don't know. They definitely have some of their dad in them, and maybe the mom's a little bit louder too. Besides the fact that Stacy met with Tom on the first episode, the real main kicker for the episode is the fact that Florian, Stacy's fiance at that time, got approved for the 90 day fiance k1 visa and he's on his way over to connecticut and in the first episode we just get to see a snippet that he actually does he makes it to jfk he arrives stacy picks him up they're all happy and then we get to see a preview for everything that's going down for the rest of the season and this is where i think it's going to get pretty good besides the fact that darcy has a new man who is buff and young and all that kind of you know funny weird stuff Stacy has a lot of drama going on. This time it's once again with Florian because if you guys don't remember, there was some big drama circulating with Florian like months ago, three to four-ish months ago. It was quite a while ago, but if you don't remember, Florian was caught in several pictures with a different woman. Now the cool thing is Stacy and Darcy did both bring up these pictures. I was kind of surprised, but they brought up the pictures and Darcy was kind of being more realistic, surprisingly. She was just saying, hey, obviously, he is in pictures with this woman in a romantic fashion. Now, I'm not going to get into the detail of the pictures, but they were very romantic. That's all I'm going to say. It wasn't like he was walking down the side of the street and she ran up beside him and took a selfie picture. That was not at all what happened. What happened was they were in a very romantic fashion in his bedroom. And uh, you know what? They took some pictures that were not very appropriate. So obviously something went down prior to those pictures being taken. But when Stacy asked Florian, what is the deal with these pictures? Who is this woman? You know what Florian told her? He said that she is some woman that's obsessed with him. She is just super into him and that she wanted to take these pictures with him to act like they were in a relationship, but that is not at all the case. And I'm telling you guys, if you see these pictures, you would just say, oh, well, clearly something went down. They weren't like friendly pictures just here and there, friends taking a selfie. They were very, very romantic looking pictures, which tells me one thing. Okay, it's X plus X equals he cheated. That's all that happened. There's not even an equation. He's trying to play it off like she's some super fan and she's in love with him and blah, blah, blah. And the worst thing is Stacy kind of actually believed him. So she said, but Darcy's sitting there saying, girl, come on, he obviously cheated and you need to move on. Now I do think that Darcy is a little bit jealous and even Darcy's dad did say that Darcy is more of the jealous type. Stacy, she's a little bit headstrong, but she's pretty casual, a little bit more relaxed. So I could see Darcy just being flat out jealous, but I mean, I think she has obviously Stacy's best interest because any person with a level-headed brain would just look at the picture of Florian and this new random girl and say, oh yeah, they, you know, did something together. So that's the main event that this whole show is about, basically. And of course, we get to see Darcy's new relationship, but a lot of this is just built on 
what goes down with Stacy and Florian during the 90 days. Does he stay here? Does he go back? Do they get married? And honestly, you guys, I have no idea. Let me just say that first. I don't know for sure. So this is not a spoiler. This is just me speculating. But if I had to guess, and by following everyone's social media and seeing what's going on, I have a pretty good hunch and a pretty good reason to believe that Stacy and Florian have ended their relationship because of those pictures. I think those pictures are perfect proof that he cheated. He wasn't being honest. He wasn't being faithful. And I think Stacy, towards the end of the 90 days, finally, it just, it just sinks into her brain. She realizes, okay, the guy's a cheater. He's obviously a liar. And so she ends the relationship. So I think. And the funny thing is, on the original 90 Day Fiancé, where the people overseas would come to America for 90 days on a K-1 visa, we don't see very often where the people do end up leaving. It, did, it has happened before. But typically, if they do come here, they usually end up getting married. Not always, but typically, they do get married. So it'll be be kind of cool to see what actually goes down. I am kind of interested more in Stacy's life if she does have, like, what is the deal with her kids? Does she have a relationship with them? We all know that she has at least two kids. I think she has two boys, but I could be wrong. But it's just kind of awkward and weird. Like, why are they not on the show? But maybe their dad or maybe even Stacy wants to just protect them from this reality TV drama. So Darcy and Stacy, that was pretty much it. I am super excited to see what goes down with Florian and Stacy. I'm also crazy excited to see what happens with Darcy and her new man because I don't know if they're still together or if they break up. I don't know what's going to happen. It seems like this could be a better fit for Darcy, but I kind of have a hunch that Darcy is going to dump him because I feel like that is her reasoning for still being on all these shows is because she's looking for love and I, that kind of gives her a reason to stay on TV. So it should be good. I will keep you guys updated. The first episode, this episode, actually airs on August 16th, I want to say. So that might even be a week from today. I think I think it's next Sunday, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. So, you know, I know a lot of you guys, I, I read everyone's messages. Not everyone likes Darcy and Stacy, and I'll be the first to admit, I am the captain of that party, of that group. I'm not a big fan of them either, but, 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 I love reality TV, and of course, you already know me, I am going to watch it. So, if you love them, if you hate them, I am sick of some of their crap too. Like, all that crap with Darcy acting like she's some Miss Motivational, that's annoying, and that, I'm sick of that too. Don't get me wrong, but I am definitely going to be watching this season. So comment below what you guys think. Like I said earlier, the new episode is on the TLC Go app. So if you guys have it, check it out. The TLC Go app, they just they share episodes and stuff like this all the time. You have to have Hulu or Comcast or something to actually get it, I believe. But if you do have it, check out the episode because it's pretty good. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. Comment below your thoughts on all of this stuff with Stacy and Florian and Darcy and Darcy's new man and everything else with this new show. Like I said, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, comment below, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for many more videos.